It's time for this baby to come out. It's time. Literally time, actually, within a matter of days. Three days till the new date. <laughs> you know it's bad when you have to unbutton your maternity pants. Wow. Hanging in there, bouncing Hanging in there. on the ball. Yeah, so now it's bouncing. She does some squats and high vibes here. We need, we need lots of good vibes. Send vibes. Send Get this little guy out. baby pushing vibes our way, <laughs> please. He is done. He's fully baked. He's ready to come. Fully baked. Come on, buddy. I think he's just shy. He doesn't want to come out yet. This is actually like so fun bouncing on this thing. <laughs> like I'd be way down to be pregnant. are so happy you guys are here as always don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss our future videos don't or this little videos. guy coming out yes make sure to subscribe we don't want you guys to miss little guy's birth it's gonna be he's coming he's coming and we're gonna make a video of it so make sure to be on the lookout for that so today we're gonna do a little pregnancy Q&A so probably most of the questions will be for Sarah, but... I think a lot of them are for you, actually. Oh, questions for me. This is like the last shebang. I'm pregnant too, right? You are. You've been in this journey. Yeah. Just not growing the baby. Yeah. Not doing anything. Just kidding. <laughs> he just takes care of me. It's pretty chill. <laughs> so we will get started with that. All right. It gets so hot in here every time we film a video because our AC unit just freaking sounds like a wildebeest just <laughs> blasting in the corner. And so we, we have, have to, to turn, turn it, it off. off. It's so hot. Maybe I should take off the long sleeve. Wow, much better. We asked you guys to send some questions in about how the pregnancy has been. And there is a lot. Get We're going to answer it. all 300 in this video. All of them. So stick around. Stick around, get some popcorn, sit tight, build a fort, do JK, whatever you have to. Oh, well, <laughs> ski. We're not going to do that. Uh, but we'll pick the, the best ones that we think. If we don't end up picking yours, it doesn't mean it wasn't a good question. It means it was a bad, bad, bad <laughs> We question. just probably didn't see it. Is seeing your belly that big crazy? Does it freak you out? Yes. Yes. <laughs> it freaks Derek out. Very scary. <laughs> Actually, before I got pregnant though, Derek would see like a very pregnant lady somewhere and be like, whoa. Yeah. That looks crazy. Just a very interesting thing, you know? Yeah. What was the biggest challenge during COVID and being pregnant? Cool. There's a lot of challenges. Um, Dress. Stress. stress yeah the unknown of not knowing like if this disease affected babies or if we were gonna get it and that would affect the baby or what the hospitals were gonna be like and basically just all the unknowns with it and being pregnant is already a really stressful thing mm -hmm. and so a world pandemic just like amplified it yeah. times 10. what's been your biggest food craving well, it changed per trimester. <laughs> First trimester, it was just straight nacho cheese. Yeah. Cups. Drinking it by the cup. Oh, okay. Never drank it. Might but as well have. Might as well have. She would make me go to Taco Bell just down the road, and her order request was like five cups of nacho cheese for just whatever snack she was I would she put them in the fridge. I wouldn't just eat five. I craved steak a lot my second trimester. Which is great because we don't can't afford steak. Yeah. And then third trimester I craved cookies. Mm. Cookies and ice cream bowls a lot. Yeah. And cereal. Did I crave anything healthy? I think you did. You had like a craving. Green beans. Green beans. I love green beans. Yeah. Did you try to get pregnant on purpose or was it an accident? This was on purpose. On purpose. <laughs> December? Yeah, it was like December 2019. Yeah. Went hard. Went hard. Happened really fast. Yeah. But yeah, fully intended. We wanted the baby. 
What's the baby's name? It's You'll uh, find out in a few days. I can't say. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'll just tell you. It's. Stop. You're so weird. It's a. Uh, Can you vlog it? We're gonna make a birth video. Yes. So, how does it feel and how do I feel? It feels weird. There's a human inside of me. It's two, two foot creature. Two foot. How tall is it? Him? <laughs> how a is two it? foot creature. Two feet, that's 24. Oh, that's big. Never mind. No, no, that's, that's not right. He's probably like 20 inches. Oh. Or. I know. Is it? He? Oh my gosh. <laughs> is it a sheep? What is it? What are we saying right now? It's weird. I'm uh, literally every time I film cake, I'm like, this is the weirdest thing ever. But yeah. it's so cool. It sometimes. it feels more normal than I thought it would be, which is crazy. Like when he kicks and stuff, I'm like, oh, this is just normal. But also, it's is he kicking. Well, he doesn't really kick anymore. Now it's just like rolling. He's smash his head, <laughs> knee. He's got no room in there. Did Derek cry when he found out that you were pregnant? Yes, after it all sunk in a little bit. Yeah, in the first, like in the video, if you saw, if you haven't seen it, check out that video, we have a YouTube on it. He was just so shocked, like, what? Arms in the air, like holding his hair. Yeah. And then once it like sunk in, he was like, yeah. teary eyed and. Yeah. <laughs> Where was your baby conceived? <laughs> no, it was a Burger King bathroom. <laughs> Psych! Stop! Just kidding. It was our bedroom. Shocking. Pretty boring. <laughs> so many about the baby's name. It's uh... You'll find out. <laughs> At this point, can we tell them what letter it starts with? Let's do it. Yes, it starts with a J. Ooh. How's life been since the? Wait, how's life been since the beginning? Or... <laughs> <laughs> how's life been since the pregnancy of this baby? I can read. I promise. Life has been really good. I feel like it's gone by fast. I think it's just because we're we're like working a lot and we're constantly going and. I don't know. It hasn't really gone by slow. No. It's been really good, but feels pretty like busy. What were you most scared about going into it? And were you guys trying for the baby? Yes, trying. You sh you were the I more was scared. The mostly just scared of the fact that your life takes a 180 in a good way, but you just have so much responsibility. Everything you do, you have to be considerate of your baby. And it's not just us anymore. It's like that's, yeah. that becomes like your your life. Now that it's happened, I'm like more stoked than I've ever been. So, but it's it is it's a scary. little scary to know that At like this start. human like needs you to survive. Yeah, and you're like <laughs> you have to take care of it. Like, I don't know how to change a diaper. I still don't know how to change a diaper. We're I gonna figure it don't out. Don't like poop. I don't like. Baby spit up like <laughs> But I He's know gonna I'm gonna love to our baby more than anything. <laughs> so it's just that unknown of how to be a parent. Yeah. So they say if you love them though you'll be a good parent. Yeah. All you need is love. All you need is love. Name that song. All you need is love. Are you nervous for the birth? Um I think I was a lot more nervous like a week and a half ago and I've slowly just I feel like day by day become less nervous and just more like ready. I mean there's always a little nerves just hoping everything goes smoothly and that he's healthy and because you're just growing this thing and you just hope that it that he grew right and that everything I'm works. I'm freaking nervous to push a human out of me. <laughs> What's some advice you wish someone had told you? Lots of questions like this. I wish I had understood that women are like designed to do this, that we're meant to have babies, to not stress. You are the best thing for your baby and your instincts are just kind of gonna yeah. kick in. I wish I had known that because I feel like I spent a lot of the first 
part of my pregnancy being like, I don't know if I'm gonna be a good mom. Like, this is so stressful. Like, I'm gonna have to take care of this baby. Like, or just a like, little bit like that. But now I'm like, I can do this. Like, yeah, I'm supposed to do this, and I'm gonna know what's best for my baby. In what ways has this changed your relationship with Derek? I feel like this has been really good for us. Oh yeah. Like really, really good for us. Like probably the best thing that's happened in our relationship. Yeah. I feel like we've had to rely on each other for a lot. Yeah. And kind of figured out like how to like help each other and Yeah. Sarah is very independent. I'm pretty independent. And so pregnancy kind of required that we work together. Like there's obviously so much energy that she has and so many things that she can do in a day. And I feel like Derek has just been so awesome this whole pregnancy. Like I feel like I've seen him grow from like the beginning to the end and it just has made me love him so much more. And I just wow. am so excited to see him be a dad. So why am I, <laughs> why am I gonna be crying? Wow. I don't know, I just feel like, I'm really excited to watch. <laughs> oh, guys, sorry. Oh. It's hormones. <laughs> uh. so I definitely feel like we've both had to grow up a lot and just rely so much more on each other. And so, I mean, that in itself has made it, has made our relationship grow so much. Just that dependability on each other. And the fact that we like created a a, a human so together. Gnarly. What the? Like the, it's like so awesome that that's gonna be our little little guy. Babies are cool. A lot of questions about working out. Oh yeah. Okay. So first trimester was pretty rough. I felt really gross my first trimester. Yeah. Second trimester I did work out quite a bit. Yeah. And then pretty like. Easy. And then it took a hard drop off, and I <laughs> into th into third. <laughs> not a. Yeah, not really anything besides sometimes walking. <laughs> when I say sometimes, I mean like. Yeah. A few but times. But at the but same time, you clean, and she's like yeah, always doing stuff. I feel stuff like we're always house. like m moving. We go to the beach, and yeah, we walk a lot. So. Did you use any kind of ovulation tracker? So yeah, I actually used this app called the Glow app. Really liked it. And I also used the Ava watch for a little while. You should look it up if you haven't seen that. It's really cool. This one says, were there any complications at any time? Um, not really like any major complications, which I feel super lucky. Yeah. I, I do still have a cyst in here, which we're gonna have to check after the birth to see if I need to get that taken out, get a little surgery. Um, but other than that, no, I just had like normal pregnancy symptoms. Weird so pregnancy stuff. I feel super blessed. What do you do for stretch marks? Always tried to use um, oils on my belly and also lotions. But I definitely, I got stretch marks, like a few of them. It definitely helps. I would say try not to like Maybe even try not to overeat and, you know, also, <laughs> every time. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, <laughs> I'm so hot. It's just getting hot right now. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm a disaster. I was just crying and now I'm sweating. It's getting really hot. Oh my Woo! gosh. I was going to say, I had been very religious at putting oils and, and lotions all over my belly as well as like my legs and my boobs, just any areas that I feel like I'm going to get. Oiling, lotioning, yes, so oiling. Much. Name that movie. Can you name it? No. What? No way. What? Wendy Peppercorn? Oh, I didn't Name the movie. It's... <laughs> I'm blinking! It's the baseball one! Yeah. Come on. Benny the Jet. I know. I know what it is. Squints? This is not okay. Oh my gosh. Are you... The Sandlot. The Sandlot. I know. 
I know. Come on. What you? were you saying? I don't remember. Oh, you're talking about oiling and lotioning. Yes, I've been using Hatch Mama oil. Yeah. Which is good. Will you miss being pregnant after the baby is born? <laughs> yes and no, I think. I will miss feeling kicks and how cool that is. I feel like you, I'm going to miss it way more than yeah, you are. I think she Derek will. She's so ready to be done, but I like pregnant Sarah. Any tips for severe nausea? Oof. You had way bad nausea. At the beginning, yeah. Honestly, snacking helped me a ton. Just little snacks here and there. And then um, peppermint, I think, helped a few times. Yeah. What has Derek helped the most with? He, no, he has been so good at asking me like every day, like, what do you need? Like, what can I do for you? He's helped in work. He's helped put my socks on. He's helped. I shaved your legs today. He that's, shaved my, he helped that. me shave my, the bottom of my legs today because I couldn't reach. <laughs> He's helped in a lot of ways. Did you have any miscarriages or struggle with pregnancy? We are very lucky. We didn't have any struggles with miscarriages. Um, it was a it was a big concern of mine because my mom had had so many miscarriages, yeah. and so going into um, wanting to be pregnant that was a very yeah. scary thing because I know it's very common for a lot of people, and we have a lot of friends and people that have struggled with getting pregnant or miscarriages. miscarriages so. We feel really, really lucky. This one is weirdest, most embarrassing pregnancy story. Um, I had quite a few funny moments, but one that comes to mind is we were in Utah and we were playing pickleball with my family and we had waited to get on a court and we were playing. I was running around and I just kept sneezing. <laughs> <laughs> then, then I just went back and I did one sneeze and just peed my pants like completely completely had peed to stop my pants. Playing. We had to stop. We had to go home. <laughs> I, feel like you I had to your change pants my like pants. five times since being pregnant. <laughs> Laughing, I peed my pants. You peed your pants in a YouTube video. Yeah. Oh yeah, I peed in the, the truth truth or dare. Yeah. When did you start feeling your baby move around? I think I was about. 18 weeks when I started feeling that kicks. was wild that was fun I'm afraid of weight gain how did you control that I would say that my portion sizes really did not change like after I found out I was pregnant you know people are always like oh you're eating for two like you can eat as much as you want I don't really think that that's true but I didn't eat the healthiest, but I didn't change my portion sizes. Yeah. And I think that really helped me like maintain like a good weight throughout yeah. my pregnancy. <laughs> what week can you have sex up to when you're pregnant? Apparently you can do it all the way. All the way. And it's actually encouraged to induce labor. Induce labor, yeah. <laughs> oh. Did you enjoy being pregnant? There's a lot of questions about that. I think that's a good one to end on. I did overall enjoy being pregnant. I had a very good pregnancy and yeah, overall I would say it was a good experience yeah. for me. It was fun it for did. me too. Derek liked it. I Derek's like it. gonna miss the I'm gonna pregnancy. miss the belly. Aww. Woo. All we right. are sweaty people now. That is all the questions we have time for today. We're getting really hot. <laughs> um, but seriously, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We love you guys. Like, we are so... Like, I can't even express how awesome you guys are in this community that we've built here. And I just feel like it has made this pregnancy journey even more awesome. Oh, yeah. To see how nice and supportive you guys are. Yeah. Is been amazing as always don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss our future videos and so that you don't miss the birth the baby he's gonna be here we are ready for him it's time it's let's come. time let's get this baby out we love you guys <laughs> thank you bye bye